Sega Drunk. You know the phrase, strike while the iron is hot. Well, when it came to Ren and Stimpy games on Super Nintendo, the saying turned into more like, immolate yourself onto the iron while it's hot, because the SNES got four Ren and Stimpy games within a year and a half, and sadly, they all freaking suck. Sure, some may have some okay beat-em-up mechanics, and the visuals and sound do an okay job capturing the show, but they weren't worth playing then, and they're not worth playing now. Meanwhile, around that same time frame, the Sega Genesis got just one Ren and Stimpy Stimpy game called Stimpy's Invention, developed by Blue Sky Software, the same folks that made games like Vector Man, Shadowrun, and even Joe Montana Sports Talk Football. That's a substantial resume compared to the dev teams that made the Super Nintendo games who also boasted titles like James Bond Jr., Home Alone, Wayne's World, and Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit. That's a who's who of total crap. Stimpy's invention on Genesis, however, hey, it's not total crap. The story is that Stimpy has created the Mutate Omatic, a matter replicator that can turn garbage into food, and of course, when he turns it on for the first time, it explodes, and pieces fly apart everywhere, so the goal of the game is to find the pieces and put the thing back together. This is a strictly 2D platformer with both characters interacting with each other, even if you play single player, but this game is compatible with a second player if you happen to have one nearby. It should be noted though that if you do play this one co-op, both players share one life bar. That's, uh, not ideal. But hey, this game isn't terrible, imagine that. The controls are very quick, and might take a minute to get used to, but there's tons of tandem attacks you can do using both characters. Yep, even if you play this one in single player, you can still have both characters there to help each other out. In fact, there's six unique tandem attacks for both Ren and Stimpy, depending on who you pick. For example, if you pick Ren, just go up to Stimpy and press B and up at the same time, and Stimpy's nose will fly up into the air and take out enemies. If you pick Stimpy, go up to Ren and press C and up, and Stimpy he spins Ren's head from the rest of his body and they both fly into the air. I recommend taking a glance at the manual if you can get access to it, or a GameFAQ's move list so you can take full advantage. You get a life bar with four lives to get through six levels on three continues with a password system, and through each level, this game does a great job representing the show. You're in a wrestling ring fighting Lump and Loaf, you got Powdered Toast Man on the world map screen, you've even got Log leading the Sega logo onto the screen complete with the Log song. You got lots of great sound bites from each character, the main theme is here as well. It's just a really solid use of the Ren and Stimpy license, and it gets the most it can out of it with the Genesis hardware. The biggest downside here is that this game is really short, it's like a 20 minute game. Yeah, it's nice that there's a password system, but you probably won't need it. So yeah, this is just a quick video on the one good 16-bit Ren and Stimpy game, and it's not any of the four Super Nintendo games, it's the one on Sega Genesis. The enemy design does a good job with the surreal and bizarre art style, with bouncing eyeballs, pissed off giraffes, and these, uh, eyeball trees? And the settings are great too, like the inside of a freezer, the zoo, and the final stage, which looks like a mad scientist's lab. Most importantly, the controls are quick and simple, with tons of different double-team attacks you can do. Stimpy's Invention isn't a must-play by any means, but it's a good solid 2D platformer with some interesting control mechanics that had some real effort put into it to make sure that it's a good representation of the show. If you're looking for a solid game to kill 20 or 30 minutes, you can't go wrong here. And hey, if you're into collecting cartridges, this one usually goes for less than $10. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.